We're asked to divide this function by this function and then state it in both polynomial and fraction form. So we can use long division. The divisor goes out here on the left side of the long division symbol. And we're dividing 4x to the third minus 8x squared plus 2x minus 1. So this one had all the powers of x descending until x equals 0, uh, x to the 0 power. x to the third, x squared. If this is missing this term, I'd put a, a plus 0x in here just to make sure I have all those powers so I don't mess myself up. But uh, Oops, I missed the minus 1 over here for my divisor. Okay, so you're trying to, uh, what you do with polynomial long division is you try to find out what number you can put up here to multiply to x squared to make it equal 4x to the third. And so that number is 4x. Because 4x times x squared, the powers of x add up to make 4x to the third. And then 4x times 2x makes positive 8x squared. And then 4x times that negative 1 that I smushed in there is negative, negative 4x. And then we have to subtract the top line by the bottom line. So 4x to the third subtracted by 4x to the third makes nothing just like we wanted it to. But negative 8x squared minus 8x squared, you're going further back in the negatives. That's negative 16x squared. And 2x minus a negative 4x, that's plus 6x. And then we carry down the negative 1, and we repeat the process. You find something to multiply to x squared to make it equal this. <clears throat> and so that's going to be a negative 16. And that's it, because negative 16 times x squared makes negative 16x squared. But we carry through, and we multiply that negative 16 to everything. So negative 16 times 2 makes negative 32x. Negative 16 times negative 1 makes positive 16. And then we're subtracting these lines. Okay? So negative 16x squared minus a negative 16x squared, that cancels out. And then 6x minus a negative 32, that's 6x plus 32, so that makes 38x. And then negative 1 subtracted by 16, we're going further back in the negative, so that's negative 17 here. Okay, and we're done um, because there's nothing left to pull down, so this is our remainder. So when we say our answer in polynomial form, f of x is the, is the function that's being divided. d of x is the divisor, the thing that's conducting the division. So when we write this out, polynomial form, it's 4x to the third, I'm, I'm putting in x, uh, f of x here, 4x to the third minus 8x squared plus 2x minus 1. That goes in for f of x. And then d of x is... We need parentheses here. It's x squared plus 2x minus 1 in for d of x. And then q of x is 4x minus 16. That's the quotient. q of x is the quotient. And then it says for polynomial form, you add the remainder. So the remainder we had was this stuff that was left over, the 3, 38x minus 17. Now students in the past will say, okay, well I know how to multiply these. They'd multiply them out, they combine like terms, and then they'd find out, whoa, that's the same thing as what's over here. So that's the whole point of, of dividing though, of conducting the division, is to rewrite it in a different way. So this is how we want to say our answer in polynomial form. Okay, this, is, this went in for d of x, this went in for q of x, make sure to use parentheses, and then this went in for r of x. Same thing over here with fraction form, because fraction form is saying, hey, if you take that f of x, and if you were to divide it by d of x, the result will be your quotient q of x, which was, oh, sorry, I, I put in my quotient for the divisor. That's a big mistake. This is what we were dividing by, x squared plus 2x minus 1. And that equals our quotient. Our quotient was 4x minus 16. And then r of x is the remainder, 38x minus 17. And then d of x is the, the thing that's doing the dividing, so 4x minus 16. Oh, no, sorry. 
this is doing the dividing. I confused those again. I caught myself this time though. This is our divisor. Okay, I'm not sure why my brain was doing that, but I put in the, our remainder for r of x, um, which was 38 minus 38x minus 17. A divisor is x squared plus 2x minus 1, so that's what went in the bottom. Q of x, that's the quotient, so that's why that goes there. And just plugging everything in where it's supposed to go. So there's your two forms of the answer.